Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a safety belt for a shopping cart. A few months back I took Peyton into a store and was going to let her ride in the uh, shopping basket and then realized that every single cart there, either the safety straps were completely gone or the buckles were broken and I was just not comfortable with letting her ride in the basket without being belted in because Peyton is small for her age and she is pretty squirmy so I just wanted to come up with a solution for when we go in a store and there just wasn't the appropriate uh, safety measures on the baskets. So I designed a safety belt of my own and I just keep it in our diaper bag so anytime that situation comes up we are all set and ready to go. So let's get into the tutorial. To get started I picked up two spring clamps, a buckle and adjustable piece and about 30 inches of strap material. Cut six to eight inches off the strap. Then using a lighter, carefully singe the cut ends to stop any fraying. Wrap one end of the strap around the flat side of a spring clamp. Sew a few times across the end to secure. On the other end of the same piece, thread the strap through one half of the buckle. Fold back on itself and sew across a few times to secure. This half is now complete. On to the other side of the strap. Add the remaining spring clamp to one end of the strap and sew to attach. Now it's time to add the adjustable piece. I didn't realize as I was filming that my hand was in the way part of the time, but what you do is you put the strap into the adjustable piece and back out through the other opening. Then you add the other half of the buckle onto the strap. Then bring the end back around and feed it into the adjustable piece again underneath where the strap is already going through. Then fold the end over on itself and sew to prevent it from pulling back out of the adjuster piece. Then you are done. Just clip the spring clamps onto the cart and buckle the strap around your child to keep them safe while riding in the basket. I did realize after I finished this project that I probably could have left the buckle out of it and just had the spring clamps and the adjuster piece, um, but I do like having the option of the buckle in case I do need to get Peyton in and out of the basket, like to change her diaper or something while we're at a store. We can just unbuckle it and then um, when I put her back in, just rebuckle the strap around her. And we've actually used this several times already. It is super handy to have. Like I said, I just keep it in my diaper bag. And that way, anytime we're at a store, um, we can just pull it out and we're ready to go. So I hope you liked this tutorial and found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe so that all of my future videos end up in your subscription box. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.